Marking power lines on private oil land sparked the Solomar fire. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez toured that site today. Charred hillsides were all around as we drove through oil fields where the Solomar fire broke out. The site above the 101 is leased by the California Resources Corporation. You know, it's a dangerous area to work and a dangerous place to be. Firefighters worked on unstable soil while battling the Christmas night fire. It's very sandy, and if you look down at my foot here, you can see how easily this soil digs up. Okay, there's no rock in it. There's maybe some pebbles. They also navigated steep terrain as we saw on Sunday when they put out a flare-up. They had to descend on a rope um, 300 feet down the side of this hillside to work um, out a smoker here. And crews used to dodging rocks dodged oil barrels too. These fields have been here for 80 years. Um, you burn away the vegetation and things in the vegetation are going to roll out and you know cause problems. The fire may be under control but now there's concern over the pending rainy season. The root systems that would traditionally hold this soil in place are gone so if we get intense rain say an inch an hour or more um, there's a very good chance that we would end up with debris flow slides. This fire um, has a devastating potential for Highway 101, for PCH, for the Union Pacific Railroad, um, should we get some real heavy rain. I'm told oil production has started to resume, and as for fire crews, they'll be on the scene for a few more days. In Ventura County, I'm Elise Martinez reporting.